In this video, we're going to be talking about graphing points in ordered pairs. And we're going to start by looking at this little chart that I just made up. Now, you see charts and graphs like this uh, all the time in your everyday lives. Uh, this one in particular is labeling the temperature in Denver, Colorado over a seven day period. And um, these degrees are measured in Fahrenheit. This one in particular is called a line graph. And on a line graph, you'll have a horizontal axis. This is called the horizontal axis. And you'll have a vertical axis. And as for the actual graph, there are a series of points connected by lines in this case. Now let's take a look at one of these points. Let's take a look at that one right there. Let's label it A. If we go off to the side, um, the question is, how do we describe A uh, in a mathematical sense? The way that we do it is we write um, the value of the point along the horizontal axis, that would be a 3, and the value of the point along the vertical axis, which is labeled up here actually, is 67. We put those two numbers in parentheses separated by a comma, and we call this thing a point can also call it a, an ordered pair. And another name for it would be a coordinate. And as you can see, there are several points on this graph. Let's take another one. Let's take this one, for example, and we'll label it B. What do you think we would call B? How would we describe that as an ordered pair or a coordinate? Well, what we would do is we would label its value along the horizontal axis, that's 6, and give its value along the vertical axis, that's given to us as 85. So that's simple enough, I think. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take a look at a hand-drawn graph of two axes. Now, this axis here is the horizontal axis again. Um, but in math, we typically call it the x-axis. This vertical axis, again, it's called the vertical axis, but in, typically in math we call it the y-axis. These tick marks we can label. I'll call them 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. As we go up and right, the numbers increase. But as we go down or left, the numbers decrease. And they actually become negative. This center point here is called the origin. And the origin has an ordered pair 0, 0. Its horizontal value or its x value is 0. It's right in the middle. And its vertical value or its y value is 0. Now let's just pick a random point uh, in this x, y plane as we call it. So let's pick this point right here. We're going to label that with the x coordinate first. That's a 3. And a y coordinate second. Negative 2. Now I just use those words. I'm going to write them down. 3 is the horizontal distance from the origin. We call that the x coordinate. Negative 2 is the um, distance from the origin in the vertical direction. We've actually moved down 2, so it's negative. And we call that the y-coordinate. Now I'm going to get rid of this label of the origin. It is at 0, 0. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw a few points on your own x and y axis, or your own x, y plane as we call this. So, plot the points. Let's say 3, 4, 4, 3. Let's plot the point negative 2, 5. And negative 1, negative 4. Try to plot those points. See what you can do. Hit pause on the video. 
and we'll do it together here when you uh, come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name these points. I'm going to call 3, 4A. I'm going to call this one B, C, and D. And that way it'll be easier to write on my little graph. So let's plot point A. That's 3, 4. What we do is we count to the right 3 units, and we count up 4 units. And that's our point. That's going to be point A. Point B, we're going to actually count to the right 4 units this time, and up 3 units. So we're going to count to the right 4 units, and up 3 units. You'll notice with this example that the order of your numbers matters. That's why we call it an ordered pair. The x coordinate always comes first, and the y coordinate always comes second. Let's try to plot negative 2, 5 now. Um, what you do is you count, since you have a negative 2, you count to the left 2 units, 1, 2. And since you have a positive 5, we're going to count up 5 units. And our point is going to be right there. That's going to be point C. And with D, both of our coordinates are negative, x and y. So we're going to count left 1 unit, and we're going to count down for our negative y coordinate to negative 4. And that's going to be point D. Let's label one more point for fun. We'll do negative 3, comma 0, and we'll call that point E. So if you want to label negative 3, 0, what you do is you count left 3 units, and you count up and down 0 units. That means your point is right on the x-axis. It doesn't go above or below the x-axis. That's going to be point E. Okay, I hope this section wasn't too difficult. Um, for your video quiz, find the coordinates A, B, C, D, and E. Write them down, bring them to class, that'll be your quiz.